Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Carl again with another episode of Vacuum Exposition. Uh, we're gonna go over a really special vacuum today. Uh, it is gonna, it is one of my favorites. Um, now, a couple things before we get into the video. Uh, there will be a very long video coming. I am still in the works of uh, finishing that up. Um, comprises of uh, a little bit uh, of history as well as just kind of tribute to my late friend Jay Devine, a.k.a. Jason Huber, a.k.a. the Eureka Empress. So stay tuned for that. I'm just waiting on a couple little things and then tweet that up uh, and then it is all good to go. Um, so prepare yourself, get that uh, pulled up on a Friday evening and have fun. I don't know. Um, another update on for the channel, of course, we have, uh, I have mentioned the, um, the Hoover Lightweight or Junior Uprights, uh, still waiting on the parts on those one. I gotta go get parts down in Oregon, which is coming in a couple of weeks now. Uh, and then the other one, the parts are, uh, going through customs right now over across the pond in the UK. So, um, uh, not sure as soon as I know when I'll give more of an update on that. Um, I am going to try to get uh, content out a little bit sooner this week. Uh, I know I say that every time and I work really hard to do it, but it ends up coming out on a Sunday, so don't be surprised. Um, but stay tuned for that. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. All right, everybody. So today we are talking about this fanciful little thing. So, uh, I know some of you probably know what this is, uh, and I know some of you probably know that it is a very rare convertible. Now, what we are looking at here today is a 1958 Hoover convertible Model 65. Now, it's not just any Model 65. The Model 65 normally came in pink and white. Uh, this is the Golden 65. Uh, these uh, were a very rare uh, special edition of the 65 uh, that came in gold, uh, and they were given out as um, sales trophies. Uh, they were awards. Um, you know, they were uh, given out to vacuum cleaner shops for display, um, uh, or it was just... Uh, you know, a nicer vacuum or a nicer looking vacuum that uh, in some cases you could buy. Um, now, when I say buy, I mean you probably had to have gotten it on the second hand because, uh, well, these were just not sold uh, to the public usually. Now, another thing about the 1958 Model 65 in gold uh, was it was to commemorate Hoover's 50th anniversary. Um, 50th being 1908 when they started out with models like the Model O uh, or the Spangler suction system and all that uh, back when the company was founded. Um, when, but uh, either way, they did it up in gold. <clears throat> A lot of machines actually came out in gold for certain anniversaries or salesman trophies. I know uh, Electrolux had a uh, Model G that was in gold as a salesman's trophy. Uh, another one that's on my list to find someday. Uh, as well as Kirby, they did uh, certain models. Actually, usually, I believe it was one of each starting in the, about the, the uh, tradition era. They did a gold model for uh, sales trophies. Um, the golden... Uh, Hoover convertible right here, though, uh, they made 20, about 20,000 units of this particular model, which made them considerably rare because the others, of course, they made hundreds of thousands of Hoovers. So um, this one was pretty rare. Um, now, in terms of history of the model, there also uh, was an ad that came out uh, for the Gary Moore show uh, that uh, uh, advertised that you could buy a vacuum or get a vacuum from Gary Moore. Uh, and I'm going to post that ad right here. So as you can see, the Model 65 was kind of a, an elite vacuum cleaner that you could obtain, certainly if you, um, well, were willing to put in the effort to find it. 
Um, now, a lot of people have found this particular machine over the years. Uh, a lot of people in certain museums, as well as um, large collections like uh, like myself, as well as my late friend uh, Jay, uh, he also had one. Um, but uh, uh, as well as my friend Philip, who will also be uh, joining me on the channel at some point. So, um, but uh, this one had to go through a little bit of a, a piecing process. Uh, and I say that because Mine was not original when I first found it, and still isn't completely original now. Um, now, when I found it, uh, it had um, a the gold base, as you see, uh, but it was pretty, well, it needed a lot of work. Um, it had no bumper. Um, it had the white hood, but it was very, it had a crack right up the middle of it, so there was unfortunately uh, no way of saving that one. Um, so I managed to find another white hood, thankfully. Um, so that was one thing that I was lucky enough to find. Uh, when it came to the handle, the handle had been replaced, unfortunately. At some point, uh, the, it had been replaced with a white handle. Um, so uh, the uh, model 65 in gold uh, would have had a one-piece handle. Well, this is a two-piece handle. So um, that is the one thing about this particular one that uh, I was unfortunately not able to find was that one-piece handle. Um, on top of that, uh, it also it had a replacement bag on it. Now, I decided to try my hand at stenciling, which it didn't come out that bad. Um, I was able to get the gold Hoover lettering on there. Unfortunately, there is a thing that's it's supposed to say convertible on the lower part of the bag, but uh, I was not able to do that. Uh, it's kind of more scripted, so it's a little bit harder. Um, but for what I need it for, it, it's perfect. Um, you know, <clears throat> the original bag uh, was a cream color, kind of an eggshell to match the hood uh, with the gold lettering, like I said. So um, it fits the bill for what I want. Now, thankfully, it did have its original cord. Uh, it did have an original red switch because these early convertibles, as well as the dialmatic, the first dialmatic, uh, did feature a red switch. So it did have those aspects to it. Um, I was able to source a white bumper for it, so that was uh, a good thing that I was able to do. I was able to make, uh, there was a piece of gold trim that goes across the front of the bumper, unfortunately that was missing, uh, but I was able to find one of those as well. So thankfully I was uh, able to uh, replicate or make this machine perfect as it once was. Um, so as it is a trophy, I uh, do hold it very high in my collection room. Um, at some point, I'll probably restore it again, uh, just because I've rest I restored it a number of years ago now, and, you know, after a couple of different moves, and, uh, well, just testing it out and playing with it with other collectors, uh, yeah, the paint's getting a little chipped in a couple places, and the handle's getting a little worn on the, in the paint ways area, so, um, maybe we'll do another restoration video on this one at some point. Um, but anyways, so, I'm gonna move on to our run demo. Um, I believe this one has a good headlight, but you never know. <laughs> but I'm going to run this bad boy across the floor, uh, and uh, well, you guys will get a chance to uh, to see a Golden 65 in action. All right. So let's see how this thing runs. <laughs> And there we have it. 
1958, Hoover, Golden, 65 convertible. All right, everybody. Well, thank you again for joining me again today for another weekly upload. I do appreciate all you guys watching, of course. Um, but again, thank you so much for joining me again for another episode. Uh, like I said, stay tuned. We're going to have more content coming, including that really long video. Um, so uh, we will catch you on the next one. And you guys have a great week.